Hello, today I want to talk a little bit about what you're offering to investors and how flexible you can be. So um, I am currently raising money for a project in Baltimore. Um, it's a, a place we're calling a community investment hub. And I've honestly been raising money for a little while for this now. And um, I have so many different kinds of investments coming in and um, some more potential ones. And so I just wanted to talk about this just uh, so you know that you can be somewhat flexible. So when I first started raising money for this project, I went ahead and offered investors the option to invest in either equity or debt. I created an equity option. It was a preferred equity option where they would get preferred um, distributions of cash um, when it, you know, the projects or the business started to be cash flow positive. Um, so it's a preferred return um, on their investment and they own, and equity means they own a piece of the business. I also, you know, not everyone wants equity for various reasons. It's a little bit riskier. Um, also, my business happens to be an LLC, and so there's some tax implications of owning an interest in a pass-through entity that, you know, an LLC, which is a tax like a partnership and therefore a pass-through entity for accounting and tax purposes. So some people would prefer to make a loan. So I also created an option for making a loan to the business. Um, I designed a loan instrument that's very patient. It's actually a 15-year loan. Um, and it's the way I set it up is it's amortized over the 15 years, meaning that every payment pays down a portion, you know, a little bit of um, the principal and um, it pays, it makes quarterly payments. So I make quarterly payments to the investors. Um, in addition to that, uh, let's see, what did I want to say about that? Oh, about the loan, um, it's unsecured. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. It is secured uh, by the building um, that we own, but it is uh, secured, it's sub that secured position is subordinated to another lender that uh, we brought in. Um, you can also do a totally unsecured loan as well. It doesn't have to be secured by any collateral at all. Also, there's no um, personal guarantee. So unlike with a bank where they might have required a personal guarantee, I'm not offering that to my investors. So raise money that way. Then, you know, had to keep raising more money than I originally expected because it was costing more than I thought it would to complete this uh this project to get this business up and running. And so I started getting more creative. Um, I offered people the option to make short-term loans and those were unsecured loans. Um, I did find an institutional lender, which is a community development financial institution that is going to hopefully be making a secured loan on the project. Um, in addition to that, I actually found some investors that were willing to come in through something called a donor advised fund. And um, I won't go into a lot of detail about what a donor advised fund is, but basically the person who has a donor advised fund is making a charitable contribution to that fund. And so they won't, they don't expect any return on that investment. So the terms of those investments are much more friendly. They are loans. Um, because a lot of times they don't want to make equity investments um, for those tax reasons I mentioned earlier. But uh, they are very, very friendly loans, totally unsecured, very low interest, um, possibly could be um, forgiven in the future, maybe. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I've had to continue to get even more creative. So I am now also offering sponsorships, which is not an investment not governed by securities law, but I'm offering people the opportunity to put in, you know, 25,000 to 100,000 in exchange for being recognized in the project, you know, on our website, in our marketing materials, etc. cetera. Um, I just, I'm now working on another potential source of funding, which is a special tax credit that we are eligible for, both a state and a federal tax credit. So. Um, a lot of times uh, my clients are, you know, I have an, a client right now actually who 
is also offering many different options. She's offering equity, but some of her investors don't really want equity. She's offering them either a convertible note or a safe. Um, there's other ways that folks are coming in. So I just wanted to share that so that you know that you can be somewhat flexible in what you offer to investors. I mean, on the one hand, you don't want to go to an investor and say, oh, however you want to invest, it's totally up to you. You know, that doesn't, that's not a good idea because one, it makes you look um, like you don't know what you're talking about because <laughs> you have, it look, makes you look like you haven't given thought to what makes sense for your particular business. Um, and then also, you know, you, it's really up to you to determine what is the best way for an investor to come in. Maybe in your case, a loan wouldn't make any sense at all and you shouldn't do a loan. So the first step is to think about, you know, what types of investments are appropriate for what I'm doing and recognize if there maybe there is more than one that is appropriate. And in that case, when you talk to an investor, you can be flexible. And sometimes an investor may propose something that you hadn't thought of. And that's great. If it's a good fit, you can totally be open to it. But you don't want to go, you know, talk to an investor cold without having given a lot of thought to what makes the most sense. You want to really get clear on what, what you want to offer to investors. And you don't want to use some kind of cookie cutter approach, some off the shelf document. You really want to think about you know, given your particular situation, what does make the most sense and ideally have a term sheet describing, um, you know, what it is that you that you're looking for from the investor, but you can be flexible and potentially raise more money from more people if you have some flexibility. But again, don't accept an investment that isn't a good fit for your business. All right. Thank you so much.